Jesus has now come to the last moments of his life on earth. He knows that the end is near. He also knows what awaits him. Betrayal by a close follower, denial by loved ones, abandonment, torture, death. But what does Jesus do? He goes on with his vocation of revealing the faithful love of God. At this precise moment, it means preparing and celebrating the Passover meal. Even at this time of great distress, Jesus presents an image of hope. When Judas asks, Surely it is not I, Rabbi? He responds, You have said so. Jesus almost seems to be saying, that he knows what Judas has done and what he will do. Here the example of Jesus is astounding because while he acknowledged and even declared that Judas would soon betray him, he does not lash out at Judas or retaliate in any way. He still invites Judas to a special place of closeness with him, allowing his betrayer to eat with him. Jesus calls us continuously to a life of fellowship and closeness to him. He desires that we make the right choices, not those that will lead to our own destruction like Judas. As a betrayer, Judas allowed greed and sin to triumph over love and fidelity. Let us decide this holy week to choose love and life. In choosing these, we choose the way of Jesus.